right, so the great thing about DevOps is you're never actually done, which is why we uh, show it as an infinity symbol. Basically spend your entire life trying to make things better. And uh, that's pretty exciting. Um, I like, so the problem is, is if you don't pull it off properly, then you know, you're going to get grilled by your boss about why did I buy into this stupid thing that you, know, you read some book and now all of a sudden I've got to implement a bunch of new tools and everything. But you try to explain to him, like, look, I, you know, I met this old guy at a conference, and he took me under his wing, and over a couple of beers, he started explaining to me how we could change the world just by adopting these new practices, and I told him, I'm not so sure, Rick, I mean, but uh, um, the problem is, is you have to herd a bunch of cats together when you're trying to implement DevOps, and a lot of times you just want to launch them into space and make sure that uh, all your problems just kind of go out and away from you. But, you know, in the end, people kind of come together. They make you feel a lot better about what you're doing. Places like DevOps Days. Get everybody together. Get them on the same page uh, about what we're trying to do together. So that's pretty cool as a movement. <laughs> when DevOps isn't cooperating with devs appropriately, it can be a shipwreck. <laughs> I can't say more. <laughs> I have to end it there. I got to stay on a positive note. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my! Uh, when uh, stuff fails, you should fail fast <laughs> and move forward. <laughs> or else. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I got nothing for that. It's adorable. <laughs> Focus on your customers, or <laughs> I don't know, you'll be staring at this all day long. But at the end, uh, good teamwork pulls everything together, and uh, we can always have more memes. <laughs> I can just stare at that. Uh, focus on the business with the logic and with the functions of the processes. Uh, monitoring, if it impacts the business, that guy's going to get really upset. I don't know much about that. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to tell you why I have such a really clumsy desk. Because when you're in DevOps, you have to do all the things. You have to do the dev, you have to do the ops, you have to do the security, you have to do QA, you have to do all this by yourself. There are no teams in DevOps. The DevOps team is an anti-pattern. You've been telling us over and over again. What else is an anti-pattern is these stupid freaking captchas. Is this a dog or a muffin? I have no idea. Stop bugging me. I don't want to pick all the buses out of the pictures, OK? Just let me go to the website. Who doesn't love Baltimore? This is the most Baltimore picture ever. <laughs> Mr. Bo, Sally Utz, awesome horn. And, but the, the, the real truth about Baltimore is that there is some really ugly stuff lurking in our harbor. My God. <laughs> it is terrible what, what, what is out there. Have you seen the aquarium lately? It, it's, it's really lean times. We need someone to come in and fix this right now because we all love the harbor. We love the aquarium. And Wakanda forever. <laughs> Black Panther will fix all of this for us. And we're going to have a Baltimore we can be proud of again. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, so sometimes um, in DevOps you can have systems that, um, that, that are essentially memes um, and try to make fun of you because you do everything right and they just don't work correctly. Um, and They make fun of you saying things like, oh, you want me to monitor this? Oh, you want your container to be up now? Um, but that's, um, that's inconceivable. I don't know how that uh, ties in, but sometimes your systems also say that to you. Um, but, you know, we have to work hard as a team, and we have to automate all the things so that we can uh, not have fires and look back at our customers like this uh, when they make us angry, because I know it may feel good, but it's not always good to do. So let's move to the next slide. Um, yeah, and so um, just like Wonder Woman, we should all aspire to be strong and um, protect uh, our infrastructure, which is a false equivalency to the world that she protects. Um, and don't be crabs crossing the road because 
your eyes only face forward and you can't see the cars that are coming from the back to run you over. Um, so, but if you stand together, maybe no cars will come down the road. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done.